everyone. It's Jean from the Inky Owl Studio, and I'm coming uh, here with part, oh boy, I think it's part four of this cloth folio. And we've constructed the cover, and we've done this little pouch. We've made this little journal that fits inside the pouch. Uh, we put on our pockets, and now we're going to work on the tag that's going to hang over the belly band that we put up there and so that's what we're going to do today plus a little piece of ephemera uh, just to get you started on some ideas with that uh, so i took my um this is going to be my tag and it measures I, the cardstock measures 11 by 4 11 by 4 inches and I folded it in half and that was my going to be the base for my tag. I covered it with fabric and I used Wonder Under just like we did uh, in constructing this and basically I attached the Wonder Under first to the cardstock and then ironed the cards and then put the cloth over the cardstock and ironed it down. That's how I did it, but you can always attach the wonder under to the fabric and attach that to the card. It doesn't matter which way you do it. I think by attaching it to the cardstock first, you can conserve, conserve more fabric that way. Anyway, so that's how I attached that. And I believe that was in part one. And you can go back there and see that. And I'm going to now make the pockets to hang, uh, to put over it. And I've chosen this fabric here. Get him out. I've chosen this uh, Tim Holtz fabric here to be the pocket. So this is basically, you're going to see this, this mostly. And then when you take your ephemera out of the pocket, then you'll see this behind it. So that's why there's a layer here in the pocket there. Now, you know, you could just use a piece of, you know, scrapbook paper that's already been designed. I'm just doing the fabric layers because I think it looks neat and, and I wanted to use a lot of fabric in this uh, cloth folio. But you could just get a piece of hard not hard, but heavy weight designer paper of some sort and make the fold over tag. And you can just start with that if you would like to. Or just a piece, a cardstock, you know, whatever floats your boat. So I am going to, first of all, cut a piece out that is the same size as my tag from the fabric. And I am not now you can if, if you do know how if you have a rotary mat and cutter and you're comfortable with doing those things you can measure and cut that out if you would like but I'm going to just do it the lazy gals way there was a person who made uh, patterns called lazy gal lazy girl something like that patterns and I'm just going to cut it out and use this tag as my template. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because in the end you can always trim, you know, a little bit off if you want to. And you might not even want to do that. You might, might like that a uh, little bit bigger look. There you go. Now, because this fabric, you know, this is, uh, even though it's Tim Holtz fabric and we pay quite a bit for it, it's a little on the thin side. All right, you can, you know, you can see through it pretty good. Um, well, maybe you can't on the camera, but it is a little on the thin side and the reason why I'm going to line it, I'm going to line it with just a piece of muslin, and I did the same thing. It's an inexpensive fabric, muslin is. Uh, I'm going to line it because 
the uh, get in and out of the cloth pocket with your ephemera and everything. I just, I'm afraid this is going to get stretchy and look kind of sloppy in the end and not really stand up to that all that well. So I am lining mine with a piece of muslin and I'm just putting the two layers together just on top of each other, I'm not gluing, sewing or anything right now at this, at this point. I need to now cut what is my window going to be for the ephemera. And I came up with three by two and three fourths inch window. And so we'll just fold this in half and this is what each side of the tag is going to be like. So you'll want a window to fit your ephemera, plus you'll want a pocket, enough room for a pocket down here. And I also wanted some room to, you know, for the uh, printed fabric to, to show. I didn't want to go all the way to the edge because it looked nice. And also you're going to want to be able to attach this pocket uh, overlay onto the tag and be able to sew it here all the way around there and probably across here. So you'll want to allow enough on these edges to do that kind of sewing. So this is what I ended up with. I believe I took my piece of ephemera and I cut it pretty much the width, uh, the window width will be the width of this of course and then you know I can see this is going to fit down inside there and peek up there so that you know kind of use that as a judgment. Now let's take our layers here and we're going to fold them in half like so so that we know where our half is. All right. The decorative piece is the most important one so I'm going to make sure that one's right. Okay. And I'm going to take uh, my template that I made here, lay it down to the kind of the window I want in my pocket, and I'm just going to trace all the way around on this side. Now, do not stress about making a perfect window, and I know I keep saying that because uh, it's easy to for that perfectionism side of you to kick in. So this does not have to be perfect in any way. We just want to get a range so that we have the opening we need. All right. And now if you're not using a lining fabric, you would just lightly uh, draw on the opposite side of your main fabric there. So this is basically how it's going uh, to be, and the signs don't have to be exactly exact matches because you're only going to see one side at a time. Now we're going to take this to the sewing machine. First, you may want to put a couple pins in it, just so it stays semi where it needs to be, and we're going to stitch right along this uh, line that you just got done drawing. And we're going to stitch there and we're going to stitch there. Just a plain straight stitch. If you go off a little bit here and there, it's okay. Just aim for it the best you can and I'll be right back. All right, it's been stitched around the two squares. And now we're going to get our scissors and you know, little scissors work really well for this, um, but you know, big ones will be okay too. And we're just going to um, get started here with the hole. Now I'm going to cut on the inside of the box, now, and I'm going to cut it close, but not over that stitch line, of course. So let's see if I get this camera to go just like that. And again, you know, some of it's, see how it's kind of wider here than there? No problem. Okay, 
I'm just going to eye it up. I'm not going to get too ultra fussy with it. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to save this piece because we can do stuff with it. So this is essentially what we're, bit, what we're shooting for. So let me cut the other side out. And I'll be back. Okay, we've got our two holes in here. Let's lay down our tag and put this down on top. And the and again, even if you're not perfect with the cloth, um, you've already got a layer of cloth down there, and you're fine. So now what we're going to do here at this point is, is we're going to sew, and I'm going to put down my clips here while I'm thinking of it. We're going to sew the perimeter of this tag all the way around. So probably you will be stitching on this side so that you can see the perimeter. <clears throat> but we're going to do the outside all the way around. And then when we get done with that, we're going to turn it over to this side and we're going to stitch straight across this window right at that stitching that we've already done or close to it anyways we're going to stitch across there and we're going to stitch right across there so let me be, do that and i'll be right back okay i've sewn around the perimeter you know kind of close to the edge there and sewed across a stitching across this way and a stitching across this way so there's the tag and you know I had to trim I had to go back and trim off the places where the fabric hung over and um, then I did notice that there was one place here where my fabric did not catch because I stitched <clears throat> this way with with the cardstock up first so I can see the perimeter and um, so I, I saw that I missed a little bit of fabric here no no biggie because I'm just going to come in here with a little touch of glue and actually I think I'm going to make a note to myself here and that is to put in the directions earlier in, in the uh, video that you should probably cut your fabrics just a hair larger than your tag and that way you won't have to worry about that happening but that isn't that huge of a deal so now we have these little cute pockets here right and the stitching and now you'll want to do this everything even if you line it or not even if you don't line your fabric you want to do everything that we did here because that stitching around that window will keep you know from the fabric getting too stretched out and ripping and everything so that stitching is reinforcing that opening there so there it is it's so cute i like it and so we go to put in our ephemera and it'll fit in just like this well i changed my mind I'm not going to work on this right now i am going to work on um some slow stitching a slow stitching tag which I, I think would look really nice in this uh, folio and so I cut a piece of batting that well I use this as my template but I, this is the size I want my tag to be so I cut that out and I cut out the piece of fabric and this is um, Tim Holtz fabric as well and uh, so I have these two pieces together I'm going to add just a little bit of, of a, a paper ephemera that's, you know, kind of colorful. I think it kind of gives it a little, a little pizzazz there. So you'll probably want, if, you, if that's what you would like to do, you probably will want to add that before um, you do the, the uh, slow stitching on here. So I'm just going to glue it on just because it's a butterfly now if it were um 
you know, a piece of ephemera, a square piece or something. I might be tempted to stitch around it, but I'm just going to glue this on here because it is a butterfly. Now I'm going to get uh, some embroidery thread and I like to use pearl cotton. It's what I like, P-E-R-L-E. If you can see that little word on there, oh, probably not. It's P-E-R-L-E, cotton. I like to use this to do my embroidery and slow stitching. But you can use uh, embroidery floss as well. So whatever is your favorite, then that's what you'll want to use. And I am going to do something, uh, stitches that are just, you know, anybody can do. <sighs> really, they're not going to be anything fancy. So up here, I am just simply going to put in um, a series of diagonal stitches. Oops, there we go. Just a series of diagonal stitches. So I'll put one, a small one like that. And the next one is going to be just a little bit larger. And... Well, I put such a long tail on here. I guess I wasn't paying attention, was I? All right, let's take that tail off. And the next one is a little bit longer and a little bit longer. And some of them are going to be close together. Some of them are going to be a little farther apart. I don't know. Whatever I think that I want to do here is just what I'm a doing. I just want to put in stitching. Now you can make your lazy daisies. You can do all kinds of things here. So now I'm going to start getting small again. Just come out and I'm not even worrying about if I have the number of stitches I have on each side. You know, you can just imagine that maybe this is a child learning to embroidery for the first time and so a few little mistakes are okay. All right, I'm just putting in a little patch, like a little patch is is basically what it'll be. And so put that in there and then I'm just going to get out my red and we're just going to put in some simple oops yep, 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 yep. there we go I'm going to put in some simple X's down below so I'm going into the back of the batting here and I'm going to put in, oh, yeah, did not it, sorry. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to put in a little X here. So I'm doing like super simple things just to let, so that you can see that you don't have to be a proficient embroiderer to add something interesting to your tag. You can just do this. Okay, just make it look interesting is all we want to do. And we'll put in one more. Wherever you see a blank space that needs to be filled in after you've collaged your tag then that's where you can put a little stitching in or you can do it the other way around stitch it up and then put in your other stuff so now i see something else that i want to do as i'm looking at that butterfly let me just get this off here like so something else i wanted to do and uh, let me go thread a needle for that all right, I got some black, and I'm 
going to give him some antennae. I think that's the plural word for that. And we're just going to come in and stitch just to make that kind of interesting. Cute. Okie dokie. Yep. Just simply do that. And because uh, he's a little bit more colorful than the other butterflies. So we'll just add the antennae onto there. Alrighty. Now, um, I think I feel like it needs something else down here. Maybe I'll put a black running stitch down the side, or maybe I'll do a brown one. Maybe I'll do a brown running stitch somewhere, maybe across the top. Let's just see what we come up with. And yeah, I don't like to plan it out too much in advance because this needs to look rather random, rather, you know, unexpected. Um, <laughs> it's kind of close to the edge there. So I'm going to run a stitch right across the top here. Like that. Just going to run a stitch. And the stitches are going to be, some are going to be little, some are going to be wider, or long there. Just kind of uneven, random stitching. Put a little knot in there, like so. Okay. Alrighty. So just see how, how simple that is. And you know what? I think I'm going to go across the bottom. So you may not want to watch this. So I'm going to do this off camera. All right, I finished the stitching and then I went in and I stitched around this butterfly. And that might be an idea that you can use is to stitch around ephemera that you put in there. It's kind of cute, kind of highlights a little bit. So I did that and then I took a piece of cardstock and sewed uh, around it, around the perimeter. And I should have put this in between the cardstock and the uh, batting, but this is like, I thought of this after I sewed it, of course. Um, but anyways, I did that, and it's really cute. So you can write on the back, and you can use paper, like tea stain paper instead of the cardstock, and I think I might try that next time. And it sits inside the little pocket just like so. Is that just not cute, cute, cute? I love it. And now let's put it inside our... Hold it over the belly band like this. And I did find it flipped up a little bit and uh, might end up in the end putting in a little paper clip just to kind of maybe help that to lay down. But isn't that just so cute? I love it, love it, love it. It's so nice. So this is just an idea for you to make more. And of course, you have to always take into account that the more... Um, tags you have with batting the more room it's going to take up in there uh, i think for the uh, for the pocket in the and the other side i think i'm just going to keep that uh with paper and just uh, put tea stain paper behind it or whatever i think that's i think that's what i'm going to do anyways at this point that's on my mind so that is so cute i love it and all I have for today. So we'll see you next time. And I think we'll, um, let's see, I'll probably make more ephemera and I don't know. Oh, the, yes, the closure. We have to work on the, the, the flip over closure. So that's what we'll do next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Please give me a thumbs up if you would, please. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.